Alright, so here's the nook, man. I got this case here, it's magnetic. I can open it up. What do we got? We turn it on. We got the normal lock screen. Now see this case I got. You throw this little magnet right back here. And then she stands up for you. And then we're going to turn her on. Okay. Do the normal unlock. Oh, try it again. Normal unlock. Okay. So you got your accounts. We can get back out of that. And it's normal settings. About the tablet. Um, what do we got here? The one gigahertz, five twelve RAM. Uh, what do we got? Storage. We got a uh, sixteen gig card inside. About a four internal. Take that back all the way out. There's the home screen, which is just like any other home screen. It's just a big seven inch tablet that used to be an e reader. So, what can we do? Well, let's hop on there and down then Facebook and see what's going on. See, uh, Bring up this chat button. Let's see what's going on. Photos. Nah, it's loading them up. It's all right. It's doing everything over the Wi-Fi. And there's me, because I'm awesome. The little nook button down there pretty much does a lot of stuff. There's buttons up top here. That's the back of menu button. Or I don't know if you can see them there. They are the soft keys. So what we can also do is just plop over onto the internet. The interwebs. Oh, look at that. Who is that? I don't know. Somebody on my website. So let's go back out of the interwebs. And let's just take a look here. What do we got? Uh, let's just see who's hopping down the stairs. It's hippity hop, hippity, hippity hop. Oh, there he is. Get out of there. We'll get out of the interwebs. And uh, what else do we got? We got, you know, you got your emails. What's new in email? Oh, let's see, I haven't really used it yet. We got Gtalk. We got the Facebook. And there's all our normal apps. Um, got Super User and Set CPU. Let's see if we can detect our settings. See if I can overclock this thing. I don't know if I have the overclock kernel on. Oh damn it! I missed the the root. Damn it! Let's try that again. Back. Uh, let's see what we got here. Play it. You can put this down so it opens like this. It'll stay open on its own for you. Got your volume buttons up here. So let's turn that up a little bit. Do a play. Yet. 
and uh, yeah, when this thing shipped, it was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a nook. Oh, yeah, so it's also pretty sturdy, <laughs> as you can see. It uh, fell without breaking, which is good. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of that pig there. Get there, piggy! Oh! Oh! Take that pig. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Alright, we'll save that for some other time. So let's get back out of that. We go back into the home screen. And, uh, you know, I've, my other thing is my XDA, I gotta I'll take it like this, and you see all the, the different ones, here's the, here's the phone you've got right now, man, Android development, there's a lot of freaking ROMs out that you need to be playing with, here's the MUI ROM, which is like the, the iPhone one. I don't know if they got screenshots of it. It'd be really cool if they did. Be a whole lot cooler if you did, man. Alright, so screw them. They don't have it. Um, this is the Leedroid one, man. This is the one I've been telling you you gotta run. This is the one I'm running on my... Uh, on my Inspire, which is what I'm using to record this with. Probably should have tried the this crappy iPhone 4 I got here, but you know, I don't know. Fucking piece of shit. I'm trying to sell that son of a bitch. So anyway. Lee Droid, you gotta get yourself that. It's a nice ROM. It's really nice. Get this, go all the way back home. See in the marketplace. It's pretty much normal, man. I mean, everything, once you've seen an Android device, you've seen them all. You know? And then, you know, I can change and add widgets and all that crap and see animated weather and. What's it gonna be like tomorrow? We got 39. Oh, snow! Snow on Sunday. That is awesome. Gotta love that. Alright, man. So, yeah. I mean, it's got this little thing here. Um, what I can do is I'll try and take it out of this thing without with one hand. This is indeed all the nook is you flip it over and it's got this little nook thing here okay and what happens is you flip that up and that's where your micro SD card goes so you flip that back down and I grabbed this case just so it had something to protect it with push that in put that in there this and again I got this little magnet thing here so what that does is it makes it so I can use it as an easel or a Bluetooth keyboard and use it as a computer or something like that keep it to the side um, I plan to just fill it up with movies and music and take it to work and prop it up kind of like a portfolio thing might even even I don't know read a book or two on it so, that there is the review of my recently purchased Nook.